Welcome to the Brushwork Studio in Ottawa, Canada. This is where we do most of our work for restoration, repair, and artistic work on the majority of our projects, which, for the most part, are statues. But today we have a bit of a different video for you as we take you on site to the restoration of a very old plaster altar at Holy Redeemer Church in Canada, Ontario. Now, because we weren't both there for the early part of the repair work, we didn't have a camera person, so we don't have a lot of video footage to show you of the early stages. Well, we'll show you more of the detail in the artistic marbling and gold accent design. We go back a hundred years to the amazing craftsman of De Prato statuary in Chicago. When we first saw this three-piece high altar, the base was upside down, stored in waiting. It was cut to fit out the doors for transport. Many of the edges were broken or cracked and old lacquer is mollified and leaking like old melted wax. Somewhere in the past century, joints were separating. The cross from the upper dome was cracked and chipped. We transported all the segments to Holy Redeemer Church to do the restoration in place. Starting with the extremely heavy base in the middle section of the altar, we began the process by sanding down hundreds of paint chips, peels, and replastering the edges. Some corners had been banged and were repaired with our epoxy sculpting material. Then once cured, it would be sanded mechanically and by hand. And several segments, like this broken tower, had to be ground and the edging re-sculpted. We've mentioned the altar was cut in two to fit through the doorways when it was transported from Quebec to Ontario. The parts pulled tightly inside by tether straps, then permanently glued, plastered, and here sanded smooth for priming and faux finishing to look like a marble slab. After each step, there's curing time, an inspection, then moving on to find the next piece in need of rebuilding, sanding, or repriming. This platform was repaired, but on top stood a beautifully restored dome with faux green marble pillars. New lighting will be wired into the two side pillars shown here. And with everything repaired and prepped, the mid-altar is starting to look beautiful. And the Carrara marble is painted freehand with brushes and then muted with a soft cloth. With brushes, paints and sponges, Pauline makes plaster look like beautiful marble. The gold metallic paint is added to enhance the original De Prato architecture. And together with the faux mosaic, marble and new trim, the upper altar is being transformed. And while this is happening, we'll show you some of the heavy base structure of the high altar, separately undergoing major restoration as well. Now reconnected and replastered, the walls on both sides are sanded smooth. With the relic stone temporarily removed, many gouges and cracks have to be dealt with. The top surface must be patched and smoothed for repainting. It's slow and meticulous work, but careful sanding is an important element for a good final outcome. We find 400 grit sandpaper gives an ideal finish. Inside the cavity of the relic stone, an old handwritten message, but it's faded and hard to read. A smaller lint-free roller is essential to avoid lines and uneven painting application, but it goes on beautifully. Then it's on to the decorative work, like the gold accenting throughout, and then the focal point, the faux marble centerpiece. Because it had dulled over the years and had old lacquer residue, I enhanced it while preserving the original style. And with the relic stone now back in place, the last of the marbling continues.
The original brass plate from 100 years ago is cleaned and buffed and placed back at the front foot of the altar dedicated to the gentle memory of the Marin family. The final step sees church volunteers lift the extremely heavy altar midsection and the beautifully restored dome into place, welcoming Our Lady of the Cape. And near the main entrance to Holy Redeemer Church, the chapel is carpeted, kneelers and seating put in place, and it's ready for faithful prayer and reflection. Thanks for watching, and please like and share and click the bell for notifications of our new work.